Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the day when we're about to find out whether or not Katrin Eckermann can become the first rider in history of the Launching Global Champions Tour to win the same Grand Prix three consecutive times and do it with the same horse. Welcome to the Sunshine State of Florida and to Miami Beach for the second Grand Prix of the season of the Launching Global Champions Tour. We focus on uh, the course design and the build of uh, Peter Grout. 85 by 45 meters, the ring is 5 meters wider than uh, last year. And Peter Grout starts there. Michael Pender, Kelly, the 13-year-old, two-time LGCT Grand Prix winner. He's found the form as he's clear. A second inside the time allowed. Michael Pender with HHS Kelly struggling there in the line 9 10 and 11 losing the balance but then handy enough to reorganize and still keep the rhythm in that last line from 12 to 13 is Katy Neckerman with Kalamandia winner of the Miami Beach Grand Prix in 2022 winner in the of the Miami Beach Grand Prix in 2023 has a little look oh and it's gone the blank is gone she had a little look you could see it the snake movement the shiver the shimmy in the body of Kalamandia and no we will not write history Thibaut Spitz and Calvino to the nice set he's good for the clock first five star Grand Prix for this horse young Belgian Timo Spitz, Calfino de Neza, unbelievable, unbelievable. What a performance from these two. There's the breeder on the kiss and cry. The breeder is here as well in uh, Miami. And this is uh, a very, very special performance. Very, very young. Timo Spitz with the unexperienced Calvino to the Neza set. Now to Michael van der Vleuten with O'Bailey van het Brouwershof. On seven very comfortable on seven got a good swing over that oxer but then runs past the front rail Simon de Lestre on I am a Lusina and clear in time, all 0.07 of a second. Seymour de Lestre with Aya Melusina has jumped clear in time, but only just 0.07 of a second flirted with the time allowed. One of the top rated horses in this uh, Grand Prix is Blood Diamond Dupont with Julien Anquetin. And there is no yellow, no red flag, so he's good for the time. He wiggles over the vertical like no other horse can jump that upright. Any other horse would take it down. But Blood Diamond Dupont is still clear. And Julien Anquetin is lightning fast in this first round of the Grand Prix. Final fence, Julien Anquetin lives up to the name, to the rating. And now the French have got two in the jump off. Simon de Lestre and now also Julien Anquetin with Blood Diamond Dupont. is uh, Michael Duffy on Clapton Mush. It's still clear, this Clapton Mush, then it's good for the time. This would be an exceptional performance. He was shy on day one, but he is shining on day three. Clapton Mush with Michael Duffy has jumped clear in the Grand Prix in Miami Beach. And believe me, that is a surprise. Yes, the horse has it in him. Uh, Michael Duffy has it in him. But for them together to bring it here in Miami is somewhat of a surprise. As we welcome the 19-year young Rockefeller de Pléville, Bois Margot. Eduardo Aznar, but mainly Rockefeller de Pléville, Bois Margot. The time sits well. Here they come. It is indeed two out of two. The horse at the age of 19 is once again in the best form of his life. And Aznar enjoying every stride on this uh, French bread gelding. Two out of two clears. Doha, now Miami. He can do it in every ring and in every round. Roquefeller de Pléville, Bois Margot. He's 19, but he looks 10 years younger. Now Lorenzo de Luca 
with Cappuccino. And there's a time penalty, the heartbreak for the Italian, I'm sorry. Two time penalties for the Italian who jumps clear, but it's not. Oh, and he didn't even see it coming. He did not even see it coming. Lorenzo De Luca. Max Kuhner with EIC coolly jumped the queue. The most technical part is done, but he has to keep the shape because the vertical is not so much of an issue, but that last Oxley, he needs a good swing over it. If he can give him a little bit of room, Max Kuhner is heading for home, on clear and into the jump off, and Kuhner has done it. Kuhner is in, and that makes it seven. And Kuhner is, uh, as reference, six, six seconds faster than Lorenzo De Luca. That's five to be precise with Shane Sweetman being the fifth on RR Combella. Combella, one of the younger horses by Corne Dulis and in Doctoro, horse born and raised in Argentina. Sweetman, 79 seconds, he goes wide, he moves up, he moves up, will he make it, can he make it? Or is he there with Lorenzo De Luca? He is in Shane Sweetman and RR Combella have gone clear. Marlin Bayard Johnson with H&M Indiana. Yeah, second last. And I didn't want to jinx it, but at this very same wall in Doha, four weeks ago, Indiana ran out. So late into the course, that should be good for Marlin Bayard Johnson. And Indiana, there they go, and they're in. And they're in, and one of the fastest pairs of the circuit is in the jump off. And it's Christian Kukuk with Mumbai. Oh, light rub. Light rub sends the vertical down out of the combination. And the first round is over with in the end nine clears from Michael Pender, Thibaut Spitz, Simon de Lestre, Julia Anquetin, Michael Duffy, Eduardo Rosnar, Max Kuhner, Shane Sweetnam, as well as Marlin Bayard Jonsson. Jump off time in Miami Beach 2024. Let's have a look at the course, ladies and gentlemen. Same horses, same riders, of course. Thibaut Spitz is second to go after Michael Pender. Then we come with a very fast couple. De Leicester, Arquetin, Duffy on Clapton Mouche, Asnard then with the all-experienced Rockefeller, Kuhner with EIC, Kuhn jump the queue. And then uh, last to go is Marlin Barriard Jonsson. Pender on the right-hand turn. Eight strides on the rollback and has it down off his hind leg and with less power at the upright. First distance, good shot from Thibaut Spitz. Bender is on eight. And he pushes the front rail out, somewhat same as uh, with Michael Pender. A uh, touch too deep and now it is eight and he knows that it's slightly his mistake, a little bit longish, maybe indecisive to make the seven strides. Simon with Aya Melusina, slightly wider. And the fault. Julien Ancata, lightning fast horse, his blood diamond Dupont. And gets straighter, and that's a better approach. Then Simon de Lestres. Oh, but now it is the front rail. And so now the French are in a battle with each other. There's Duffy. Going well for Duffy. Here he comes. Two fences left to jump. 
to take the lead in Miami Beach. A clear will be enough for the lead. Last fence coming up, not as fast as Arcata, but here's a double clear. Clapton Mush and Michael Duffy have jumped double clear in the Miami Beach Grand Prix and have now taken the lead with four still to go. What a performance. So I'll take a bow to that, Michael Duffy, because that is strong with Clapton Mush, 43.6. Asnar on the inside rein, smart and sharp over that Oxer. A second and a half in front. Oh, it's gone! No, no, no! It will not be a victory for Eduardo Alvarez Asnar as the Liverpool vertical. Kuner with EIC, and here again. Cooley jumped the queue, the stretch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, holding seven on the inside and also pinks that top rail. And so Duffy guaranteed of a podium at this time. And Kuner now trying to get home as fast as possible to also have a chance at podium. Can he get in front of Arcata? Yes, he can. It is second place for Max Kuner as he is again half a second faster than Julien Arcata. Combella with Sweden. First distance. No, he has to wait, and that is going to cost him the win here. Michael Duffy is still in the leads as Sweetnam now has the second last down and finishes in 45.93 is the slowest on four as a matter of uh, fact. And it is uh, Duffy's first. She's in front, she is in front. Marlin Bayard Jonsson, half a second in front. Is this pair going to win their third Grand Prix? No! Duffy wins his first launching Global Champions 2 Grand Prix on Clapton Mush. What a story here in Miami. Marlin Bayard Jonsson now racing to the last to make it maybe second place, but it won't be second. It is second place for Max Kuhner and it is third for Julien Arquetin as Marlin Bayard Jonsson finishes fifth in 43.57 seconds. Here is uh, the full result. Michael Duffy wins his first ever launching global champions to a Grand Prix win in front of Max Kuhner. And a third is Julien Arcatin. Good results also for Asnar, who I believe is the new championship leader. And Marlin Bayard Jonsson is uh, now five. Marlin Bayard Jonsson. Michael Duffy, that is your first ever Longines Global Champions Tour Grand Prix win. But not only that, your first ever five-star Grand Prix win. How are you feeling? Uh, it's been it's been a while coming now. It's about bloody time we got our finger out and did something. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. Like I'm a bit lost for words. You know, I wouldn't be the biggest talker, so I'm a bit lost for words. Asnar has now taken uh, the lead. Beautiful to hear from. Uh, Michael Duffy for him to pay tribute to his good friend Jack. The fourth podium and the first win for Michael Duffy and Clapton Mush on the French bread by Conrad Z and Elan de la Cour. Everybody back in the saddle. Duffy can lead the victory gallop for the first time in his career. He does it in the victory gallop of a launching global champions tour Grand Prix. Kuhner is second and Alcata is third. We close here in Miami Beach. Ladies and gentlemen, Miami has been very generous to us and we can't wait to be in Miami in just a week's time. Thank you very much for joining us all through the weekend. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And it's not a goodbye. We'll see each other soon in Mexico City. Bye-bye. Take care.